Pull back, pull back. Hey, in this week's video, we are going to be playing. Hello, guys, and today I'm going to be playing Game Over It. I already made some progress. And There's I'm no bad at more the game. intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the canoe, if you want some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. I'll just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Ah, damn! What? Why is this lock torturing me? I'm out again. Do I'm blushing? What the hell? That's high sensitivity. Damn it. Sensitivity. What the hell? How am I? do no where I go this lock will always torture me if I can barely get past the lock how am I gonna get past that parkour like that's how I'm gonna get on here parkour to be on the edge but not too far on the edge so if I'm too far I'll fall just like that <laughs> this first part's literally just gonna be me trying to get over this damn hill Progressing. I've progressed. This game is a homage to a free game <laughs> that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. So this was literally just a bee game. But it's polished and textured. Why? Looks like I'm gonna go to sexy hiking after this. I mean, sexy hiking can be as bad as this, right? This is already bad. Why is this a wonky donkey? Wonk donkey! Go back. I like the old sensitivity! The sensitivity sucks! No matter why I put the sensitivity at, that's it's a deep so frustration. Sucks. Real punch in the gut. 
am I just not allowed? <laughs> this hell is torturing me. like 10 minutes in the Maldi still has out. Well, I've gotten used to that, so that's good. It's just this dotted house and dotted locks. It's this, it's that lock. See, it's like the hammer. The hammer sucks. Look at that. It makes a thing like you're about to fall. It knows. It knows I'm gonna fall. Okay. How the hell do I do that? It's all obstacles. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. <laughs> it's built almost entirely out of bound and recycled. Lose all my and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. Mm. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Haha! <laughs> gotcha! You're not gonna fall me! Escape key if you need to change the mouse sensitivity. I've done that ten times. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. It probably will. Now I see why this game is undelayed. It sucks. Reject getting over it. Return to sexy hiking. Alright, we're back, we're back, we're back. Have it! I love how he gets prepared for your shenanigans. And he's like, oh, he's gonna fall. He's gonna fall, and he fell. Nice try, I landed on the. That's a good. That's good. Nothing. <laughs> oh. Now that's what is that a Starbucks cup? This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. Yeah, you can shut up. Type players be like, <laughs> yeah, gosh. Why does that have a hitbox? I want to be in the background, it looks so much easier. Why do I have to climb it from this degree angle? Because I just did something like that. I feel like I've got the perfect sensitivity. 
Oh, I said I have the hang of it. Next fall, completely lose it. I've lost it. I've lost. I, 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 I have to be on the edge with the hammer. Yeah, but that sucks. What the hell? Why is it sliding? And why did I go back? It's so hard to this. See where my mouth is? Cause over the hand it's like this yellow or this white ball. Go down, go down, honey. Got you! Bah! God damn it, God. Okay, since when did that exist? It's probably impossible to go back there. I now have higher sensitivity, so it should be easier. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, the sensitivity sucks, but I somehow made that with that. There's no point to ooh, I'm just gonna fall! Am I just stuck in this hell hole until I beat it? Whoa, that went really far. but you suck. This is really sweat. Ooh, that saved me. No, I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna get on to this. Man, man, dude. Yeah. Hi, 
finally back to where I was. I need to do the bite hop. in video game worlds are fake. <laughs> you can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Alright, that's it. If I fall again, I'm going to sexy hiking. Bye.